This is Nick with logosbynick.com, and in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create 3D pie charts using Adobe Illustrator. So to get us started here in Illustrator, the first thing you want to do is come up here to where it says View, make sure you have Snap to Point enabled, and then come over here to where it says Window, look for Toolbars, and make sure you have the Advanced Toolbar selected. And once you do that, we're looking for this tool over here that says Column Graph Tool. I'm going to click and hold on that to get this little flyout menu, and I'm going to choose the Pie Graph Tool from this drop-down menu here. Then I'm going to click on the canvas, and it's going to ask me what size I'd like the pie graph to be. I'm just going to leave it at the default, which is 300 by 300. I'm going to click OK, and it's going to generate this circle on the canvas here. And what we're going to do now is use these tables to input the, um, the different inputs of the pie graph. So for the, for the first one here, I'm going to use 40. We're using a numerical value here. We have to use different numbers that add up to 100. So I'm going to press 40, press Tab, 20, Tab, 20, Tab. Right now, we're at 80, 40 plus 20 plus 20. I'm going to put 15, Tab, and then 5, and press Tab again. And these columns here, they all add up to 100. So go ahead and type in whatever you need your input values to be. And once you're done with that, press the, uh, the Apply button right here, or you could just press Enter on the keyboard. And as you can see, it's created this little pie graph on the canvas here. So let me grab the Select tool. Let me close out of this. We don't need this anymore. What I want to do is ungroup this. So I'm going to go to Object, Ungroup. And it's going to ask us, the selection contains a graph. Just go ahead and click Yes. And we're going to ungroup it again. Object, ungroup. And what I want to do is, if you zoom in on this, I'm going to hold Alt and roll the mouse wheel a couple of times to zoom in. You'll see there's a black stroke around these individual elements. I just want to get rid of that first before I continue on. So let me select the stroke here. And let me click this red slash to get rid of that. And then go back to the uh, main fill option there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this thing 3D. So to do that, I'm going to go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. And the inputs I'm using for this example, I'm going to use 60, and I'm going to come down here, I'm going to use 0, and I'm going to come down here and use 0. And you'll see it took the uh, the pie graph and make it so that it made it so that it's laying flat. Okay, now if you want, you can adjust this and change this if you'd like. You could change the angle, make it up or down, whatever you want to do. I like how it looks at 60, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'll click OK. And now I want to expand this. So I'll come up here to where it says Object and click on Expand Appearance. And there we go. Now we have this as individual objects. Now if you zoom in on, if you zoom in on this, you'll see it's a little scattered here. So we're going to have to rearrange these individual pieces here. So I'm going to click on this segment and bring this down here. I'm going to hold Shift to lock it onto the vertical axis. I'm going to take this segment. I'm going to bring this down here. In fact, I want to snap this onto this right here. So to do that, I'm going to hold Control on the keyboard, and I'm going to take this point, and I'm just going to bring this over here until it snaps onto this point like that. And I'll do the same thing with this object right here. Hold Control, grab this point, and I'm going to snap this one onto here like that. I'll take this one, do the same thing right here, snap this onto here. There we go. And then finally, this one right here. Hold Control, grab that point, snap it onto there like that. Okay, now let me zoom out. To zoom in and out, holding Alt, rolling up and down the mouse wheel to move the page around, pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. So now that we've created this 3D pie chart, let's add some color to this thing. So I'm going to select all of this here, click and drag over all of it, and go to uh, Object, Ungroup. And it should ungroup this into separate objects, but you may have to ungroup it twice. As you can see, it didn't really work that time. Select it again, Object, Ungroup. Try it again. There we go. Now it's individual objects. So I'm going to start coloring this thing. I'm going to take this top piece up here, and I'm going to give this a different color. Let me choose HSB over here so I have actual colors to work with and not just black and white. I'll make that something like that. I'll take this one, make that a darker shade. Take this one, make this an even darker shade like that. Or if you want, you can make this a lighter shade. There we go. And right here, I'll take this one and make this yellow. I'll make this one a darker shade, like more orange more of an orange shade. I'll make this green. And I'll make this one a darker shade of green. There we go. And maybe I'll make this one a lighter shade of green. And for this one, I'll use the same yellow that I used down here. So I'm going to press I to grab the dropper tool and click on that. Go back to the select tool, press I to get the dropper tool. There we go. And then finally up here you can color this in as well. I'll make this one maybe I'll maybe I'll make this one blue. 
And there you go. That is how you can go about creating very simple 3D vector pie charts using Adobe Illustrator. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.